Hey there, Toy Amigos. Welcome back to our channel for another exciting adventure in the world of action figures. Today, we're diving into the realm of Disney's gargoyles with a special focus on none other than David Xanatos, the brilliant billionaire. Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. With a knack for the extraordinary. You know, the guy who thought relocating in an ancient Scottish castle to New York was just another day at the office. Yeah, that's the one. Get ready to explore the mastermind behind the scenes and his grand plans for his newfound gargoyle allies or opponents, depending on the day of the week. Let's jump right in. Are you ready? Yup! All right, let's talk about that packaging. As you prepare to unbox your David Xanatos figure, the first thing that catches your eye is the front cover of the box. And let me tell you, it's a real work of art. Designed by the talented George Yokovich, the cover features Xanatos positioned behind a chessboard where the pieces are the other characters from the Gargoyle series. It's a visual masterpiece that perfectly captures Xanatos' role as the mastermind pulling the strings behind the scene. But the creativity doesn't stop there. Flipping the box around, you'll see more stunning photography, expertly captured by photographer Steven Mazurek. Every angle is meticulously showcased, giving you a clear view of all the intricate details and accessories that come with this incredible action figure. The packaging itself is a work of art that deserves to be displayed proudly on your shelf. It's a true testament to the creativity and craftsmanship that goes into bringing these iconic characters to life. Standing at six and a half inches tall, this figure truly captures the essence of the iconic character from the beloved Gargoyles animated series from the 90s. Xanatos is portrayed with his signature brown hair and goatee, and his skin tone leans more towards an olive than a Caucasian. He's impeccably dressed in a gray suit jacket with the upper portion made of a soft plastic for added flexibility around the chest. Underneath, he sports a sleek black dress shirt complemented by a gray belt featuring silver paint apps for the buckle. Completing his ensemble are black slacks and shoes that give him a sophisticated and polished appearance. A man about town. Xanatos has 12 points of articulation, allowing for a wide range of dynamic posing options. So his head does a full 360. And of course, it can look up a little bit. The ponytail blocks it, but it can look down. Do a little bit of side to side. And then we look at his shoulders, and they can come out to the side. About that far. We can do a full 360 on the shoulders. And of course, we get a double jointed elbow. And so the joints at the, above the bicep and just at the elbow itself. So you can point all the way up. You also get uh, a twist on the bicep part and the forearm part of that elbow. So you get a little bit more posability from that. You get a 360 on the wrist. And of course, the wrist has horizontal bends for all hands. Uh, we have a 360 on his waist. And then as we look at his leg joints there, you can see that we can bring his leg up about that far. And we can bring his leg about that far back, so not much. If we look at his knee, it'll bend. So single joint knee. But you do have a swivel on the knee. So you can kind of actually swivel that in and out. And then we look at the toes or, or the foot. So it, it points up about that far, points down about that far. You do get a little bit of left and right, I'm trying to show it the best I can here. But you also get a toe point, uh, a, toe, a toe bend. Why does he get a toe bend and Spider-Man doesn't? Probably it's just because of the company. One of the standout features of this figure is its interchangeable heads. One with a serious expression and the other with a smirking face perfectly capturing Xanatos' cunning demeanor. Additionally, he comes with three pairs of hands, two fists, you know, for fisting. Uh, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. A thumbs up and a high five hand, and two hands specifically designed for holding his laser blaster. We have the Eye of Odin necklace, not only a symbol of Xanatos' connection to the mystical world, but also grants its wearer the power of Odin himself. This intricate accessory adds an extra layer of authenticity 
capturing the essence of the character being a supernatural aficionado. That was my 50 cent word of the day. Ching, ching, ching. Next, we have the laser blaster, a staple of Xanatos' arsenal. With its sleek design and attachable blast effect, this accessory allows you to recreate the epic battle scenes straight from the Gargoyles animated series. Whether he's defending his turf or plotting his next move, Xanatos is always ready for action with this formidable weapon in hand. And let's not forget the nostalgic floppy disk, a nod to Xanatos' technological prowess. A floppy disk was a storage device up until the late 90s, holding a whopping 1.44 megabytes of data. You heard that right, megabytes. This clever accessory adds a touch of retro charm to the figure. I mean, come on, the dude builds laser guns for a living. Do you think that he'd come up with a better option for mass storage devices? Reminding us of the character's ingenuity and resourcefulness for using 90s technology items. So whether you're a fan of the Gargoyles series or simply appreciate finely crafted action figures, this figure from NECA will definitely deliver on every front. I want to thank you guys for joining me and stay tuned. We'll be announcing the rules for the giveaway here soon. Thank you again for joining us on Talking Toys. We'll see you on the next episode. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more epic toy reviews and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep those figures posing those collections growing. This is Joel from Talking Toys, signing off.